Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, so this Capricorn. That's sure. true. This is a brand new video, a brand new band, a brand new video for us, and I think uh, I literally have nothing. Mana, manavi yala king charadate. What the band? The? the band is called Agam. That's a big word, dude. That's a huge word. Manavi yala king charadate. It is long, yes. Uh, but mixed of <laughs> Capricorn, it's like a live studio setting ah, environment. Cool. Um, there's there's an audience though, so Very there, nice. there, there's like people. That's all I know. Don't know what style. Don't know. <clears throat> don't know anything else. Oh, nice environment. Cool. It's like a restaurant. That's beautiful. It's a dusty place. Based on the saint, the saint what? It's a saint. The saint. Da. Taya, I can't read from it. Tayagar Garaya in in Raga. Is the set to the Shadi Tala? Okay. Mm, all right. I feel some mystique coming, coming. Turn up, dude. Yes, sir. Say no more. Oh, how nice. Did you did you catch those harmonics? Those were beautiful from the electric guitar. Oh, nice. And that's how you set the atmosphere. <clears throat> oh, and they just love it, do just look at that. I think it's haze. I thought it was dust. No no no, it's haze. <laughs> Definitely haze. I thought this was the audience, obviously not. <laughs> Once again, next level stuff. This is from the south of India, I think. This is southern <laughs> India, I feel. Um, I could be wrong, uh, but from what you guys have kind of mentioned, I think this is southern Ind Indian music. Wow, really nice though. Yeah. This, the, okay, let's, let's progress, continue, because there's a lot of growth here. And it's a lengthy piece too, so... <laughs> What a beautiful surprise though. signature is that I love <laughs> what the fuck Standing. I was gonna say, musically speaking, that is some beautiful trickery there. The, the idea of having a time signature accident instead of including accidents in the chord progression of things, you know, like maintaining continuity in the melody, but completely disruptive, dis, dis, disruptive, disruptive uh, uh, timing in the music itself. So it's so musically clever. That it really shows the level of musical expertise yeah, yeah, and I mean, knowledge. This is really studied. This yeah, doesn't come like natural. That drama is not dummy. I can oh, guarantee no. you that. Uh, but it's very nice because it's like it's backwards, it's forwards, and then it becomes more linear. So it's, it's backwards. Cool. It's, it's reversed. It's forward, and then 
it's become it comes more linear and it's so cool to see those sort of you know like alternative rock yeah. influences after those syncopations of a uh, of arrangements which are not very you know they're not very normal in sort of like rock um but that this is, is where you see dope. you know the, yeah i guess that musical pedigree that they all possess for some reason yeah it's insane though i really really like it and i love the uh, <clears throat> also the entry to that second verse was actually pretty tricky for the vocalist uh, don't know what the cue was, but it is nice. Uh, Let's yeah. have a look. Magical video. It is. Actually, remind me a lot of um, uh, oh my god, what the fuck is the name of this band? Uh, l l uh, let Lettuce. Uh, Who? Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. The name I think is Lettuce. I'm a big, big listening of. Uh, is it Lettuce? Yeah, Lettuce. Yeah. Uh, you know, it sounds funny, but they're uh, they're like a rock jazz band. Ah. Uh, and um, yeah, they they're. They do they're, unbelievable. Yeah, so they're musically intricate like this. Yeah, they like I'm gonna probably copyright shit on. It's they, very this, funky. This is one of well, this is more funk. They, I I don't know. I just like that type of stuff. But they have this type of arrangements, yeah. but they're all they, they don't have a vocalist or anything. Uh -huh. Um so but they are they're they're top top notch type mm. of a pedigree of musicians, not to use that word again, but in here, it, it also is similar to how in South America you do arrangements. Uh, the, sort of that bass line following uh, the, uh, same the guitar, as the guitar yeah. uh, in terms of arrangements. That's very common in South America. Yeah. So, and you see it more, you know, in sort of like salsa arrangements <laughs> That's and true. merengue arrangements type of things. So, yeah, it it feels oddly familiar to, see, to hear this type of um, arrangements, but obviously done in a very new way that I, I hadn't seen before. And I feel like I always say that every time we check out anything from India. I feel like I, I see the same too. I see, I, I, I hear and I see similarities to things that I'm somewhat familiar to. They're obviously similarities, then, you know, the rock influences, yeah, alternative rock. But exposed like in a completely different light under a completely different circumstance. So I'm... It's like I'm discovering music for the first time. I know, I've, yeah, like you said, I've said this before when it comes to Indian music, but um, 
it is like rediscovering what a genre can be and is so transformative yep. in, 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 in the composition of music itself. This, this particular composition, though, this particular arrangement is incredibly well thought through when it comes to the musical patent pattern of it yeah, yeah. reminds me a little bit of like Isayana Sarisvati and how she composes things from, from Indonesia from yeah, Indonesia if, if you like this and you don't know who Isayana is or do yourself a favor oh yeah and search her up Isayana Sarasvati. she's I mean she she fucking she came over here to London in the uh, 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 to study music she mm -hmm. also graduated in Indonesia she She's very successful. She does rock and classical, and she's a pianist, a composer. She's, she's a genius, basically. Yeah, she really is. And it, if you like this sort of arrangements that are also modernized to a certain extent, uh -huh. you know, nowadays you have to adhere, adapt. Yeah, yeah, because you know, you you no longer, you can no longer afford to cap yourself by by making music for musicians only. Uh -huh. You have to now make music, unless unless you really don't care. Uh, but you can do whatever you want, I guess. But if you want to <laughs> the reach, beauty of art, yeah. But if you want to reach a you know a certain height in the industry, you you also have to make music that is easily consumable for mm. a wide a wide uh, cater to a wide demographic. So she's she's a good example of that, and this I would be a good example of that too. I was gonna say this is a brilliant example of meeting meeting both in the middle. You know, having enough musical intricacies to make the song dynamic for you to play and enjoy and really gush about the the difference in time Perfect. signature and 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 rhythmicalities and different influences and stuff uh, but then you, it's really easy to listen to as well it creates the perfect atmosphere it's mis it's mystical it's magical in a way that when you listen to it you really have to you really don't have to be a musical expert to understand what's happening survive and bro it's wonderful it's really well executed and the music video itself is so brilliantly shoot like yeah, the, shot, yeah. the shots are <coughs> incredibly well done so beautiful it's hard for me to understand how that's real. How do they do that? Smoke. No, it's because it's so fire. Brilliant. Is that a flying record? Wire. Look at that on the top right corner. Yeah, it is a flying what record. What the fuck? It's a vinyl. They're over the trees as well. Yeah. Breathe, brother, breathe. <laughs> When does she breathe? I don't know. When, when does he breathe? <coughs> he breathed. He, he, he breathed now. <laughs> he breathed. He breathed. But he proceeded to breathe. But I don't think that's possible. That that was like sixty seconds of no breathing. <laughs> that was like while exerting air, because you know you can hold your breath for sixty seconds. I guess you can. It would. You look purple. But, oh, you can. Yeah, but yeah, to exert air as well mm -hmm. and utilize it. I don't know. That definitely the breathing technique is like a big question mark for me. I I just wanted maybe to maybe he had delay at some point and we didn't notice it. Maybe he, I'm he obviously took a breath somewhere. Yeah, put it obviously, back. Put it back. Let's try and pick I mean, it off. I just wanted to gush about the beauty of the choir arrangement. It's, oh, it's fantastic. absolutely wonderful. Seems to be a big deal as well, though. And that location is just. Oh, it's magical, mate. It's just. I feel like that. Came out of a magic book. Yeah, I feel like that's where, you know, if, if you see authors, they sort of they pick write the stories. Places, yeah. yeah, and that's the place they're talking about. Mm. I think he breathed. I still can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. That's one breath. That's for sure. Hence why they're also the 
thinness of it, right? Yeah, the, the, the thin layer of course. I love that drummer. That drummer is great. Nice. I was expecting this. I don't want this song to ever end. Me neither. That is absolutely beautiful. I can. That's a nice logo. I wonder what it means. Because it seems like it has a lot of meaning behind it. Uh, Definitely. It'll be a fair bet. I, well, it's... I Celestial think Celestial Nymph. Wow, how cool. My God. I so maybe they did like a whole concert. I want to keep watching. I want, I want, I want to watch them live. Me too. Well, this 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 environment is absolutely fantastic. And I want to shake that drummer's hand. It's like, well done, buddy. Yeah, smooth, <laughs> dog. Smooth. Because that's what you want. Put chops. <laughs> no, no, that's what you want to do. There's so much focus and chops and licks and fills and all that shit. And though that's what you want to do. That, mm. That's what you want to create. And arrangements allow you to then do maybe a few fills and stuff like that. But you want to be that clean so and tight. that consistent tight. Yeah, he yeah. was really a focus. Also something that doesn't happen often, especially in band arrangements, where the percussion percussionists become the focus. Very, very rare you get to, you know, appreciate it. Because even in the parts where he wasn't the main focus of attention he he felt very prevalent throughout the whole piece yeah, yeah, yeah. If, like even the rhythmicalities and how tight it was in certain in certain moments actually really created such a highlight in the listening experience of the song well, what a brilliant song what a brilliant arrangement well given his alternative rock influences he has to be a primordial part of the piece mm. um, but it's very well done i like that sort of classical take of it as well and and i think this is southern me uh, uh, southern indian music I'm not too sure, do correct me if I'm wrong, um, but uh, let us, because the interesting thing now, obviously, we're, we're still babies in this sort of realm of, of music uh, industry, so it, it is interesting to sort of travel through India in this couch and, and uh, listen to music with you guys and share it, and, and I'm sure other people are learning with us as well, which is awesome to see. Uh, yeah, so let us know, perhaps what we should check out next. Truly magical, indeed.